Hey there, I'm your host Lasawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create an enemy wave spawn system. So if I hit the play button over here, our one AI will attack me, and if we kill him with two shots over here, we will get two AIs spawn in this place. Now, if I kill those two guys over here, we will get three, and essentially it's going to increment one each time. Now, if you don't want to increment it by one each time, I'll show you how to increase that value much higher. And with all that said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Now over here, you want to go to your player's game mode. And for me, it's going to be game mode Brady. Now over here, we want to create a custom event. And this custom event can be called something like enemies left because we will be checking how many enemies are alive. So from here, let's create an variable and this will be called enemies alive just like so and for this make it an integer now you can drag this inside of here get it and if this value is equal to zero meaning everyone's dead let's get a branch and then we will want to spawn our enemies so to do that we will connect an event dispatcher to our spawner so inside of here event dispatchers just simply hit the plus button and call it something like respawn enemy that's good so let's drag this here and call it and we are essentially done i think so so let's compile and save and let's go to our npc so i'll find my npc folder that's just my health there so don't mind that then inside of our npc we want to select self and over here you want to look for auto possess and make sure to change autopossess AI to place in world or spawned. Now, if you don't do this, you'll be left scratching your head why my code isn't working. And it's because of the simple reason right here. So do that and then we can hit X. And now every time we put one NPC into the world, we want to increment is alive variable by one. Now to do this, we will drag from here and say cast to game mode Brady, since that's the game mode my variable is in. So for object, what we can do, get game mode, and that will be there. Let's get enemies, enemies alive. And from here, we can do a plus plus, which will simply increment this value. So connect that there. And now let's write our dead code. So for that, I already have an event any damage, which simply just takes the damage away from my health. And if my health is equal to zero, which is true, I want my player to die. So let's create a custom event. Now this custom event I'll call dead. And I'm going to call this on true when my health is equal to zero. So let's write this uh, custom event. Now I have a ragdoll system, which if you want, you can copy. So if my player dies or rather the NPC, I want to ragdoll that NPC and then I want to, or actually, let's disable the movement first. So get character movement and say disable movement because I don't want the player to move when he's dead. So let's do that. I'm not even sure it's necessary for a ragdoll, but just to be sure, we can do so. Then I want to do a delay of, so press D and left mouse button because I want to see the ragdoll for about two seconds before I destroy the actor. So after delay, what we can do Let's do cast to game mode Brady once more and get game mode. From here, what we can do, we want to decrement um, our variable is alive or enemy is alive by one because he's dead. So we just want to minus one. So get enemies alive. Simply do a minus minus this time, which will decrement this. And now we want to check our enemies alive so do enemies left because that's what we called our function do like so and at the very end we want to destroy our actor so now i'm not sure why this wouldn't work uh, at the very beginning for some reason the code just likes it when it's at the end so plug that into there and with that said i think that's our dead code so let's comment this and if we kill our AI, this should work. So next we should create our spawner. So let's compile, save and exit. Then inside of our NPC folder, let's right click and go to blueprint class and select actor. 
this will be our spawner. So BP underscore spawner or call this essentially whatever is relevant to you. Now inside of this, I'm not going to add anything, but you can if you want. Then go inside of your event graph, delete two of these guys and from event begin play. You want to cast to your game mode once again. And this is going to be game mode Brady. From object, let's get game mode just like so. And then the event dispatcher we created earlier, we want to bind this to this event. So look for bind event two and whatever you called your event dispatcher, I called mine respawn enemy. So let's put that here. And from event, we want to add event and call this something like spawn enemy. That's good. Then from here, let's create two variables, which we want to be an integer. So let me first name it spawned enemy. Sounds good to me. And this will be an integer. Then the second one was going to be called add enemy. So essentially add enemy will be used to increment the enemies uh, by one each time. So from here, uh, from spawn enemy event, let's do for loop, just like so. And we want this to begin with one. Otherwise, if, for example, we set this to be two, let me compile first. If we set to be two, it'll count from the values zero, one, and two. And we don't want that because that's three. So let's begin it with one and simply connect that there. Then on completed, we want to get the add enemy and we want to increment this by one. And on completed, we'll go here just like so. Then let's get our enemy or spawn enemy and add enemy. And we want to add our spawned enemy to our incremented enemy, just like so. And then this value will set our spawned enemy, just like so. And then at the very end, if you want to increment it just by one and not by additionally stacking this, just get your add enemy and set it also to be zero, just like so. Then from loop enemy, we will do spawn actor from class. And look for your NPC, which is for me just NPC, like so. And the spawn transform will be the place of this actor. So do get actor transform, just like that. And for collisions, select uh, try to adjust location, but always spawn. There we go. And um, with all this, this should work for us. So let's compile, save, and see how this works. That's my NPC right there. Let's go into the content drawer and add the spawner to our world. And if I go to play, if we kill this guy over here, we should get two people spawn in his place, just like so. And if we kill two of these guys, we should get three. Now, if you don't want to increment this by one each time, what you can do, simply delete the set enemy back to zero, and this will stack each time. So. We can compile and save. And guys, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.